should note that I'm not fully versed in human anatomy, but I'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it. Since Dima has approved of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. Um, eh, never mind. Never mind. I'll get back to it then. You know what I could use? A bed. You have food. Who the hell are you? Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? Kasumi. I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Why does he remind me of Keanu Reeves? Um, I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. Is that so? Huh. Most of the chumps here act like I'm out of my gourd. Good to know someone else sees it my way. Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. Let's barter. I'll take a look, sure. You never know. I might actually have something useful. Do you have anything... Anything special at all? I'll take the rolling pin. <laughs> You were very helpful. Have you got any cool armor? Oh! Reduce damage while standing and not moving. Well, that's new armor, so I'm going to take that. Fifteen. How much? I'm taking it. Cool. Let me lighten your load. Tommy, yeah, you. What's up? I'm listening. Trade. Sure, here's what I got. Um, you can take the body armor for now. And you can take that if you want to. Acadia may not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us have got. Did you need it something? It certainly wasn't what I was expecting, but it means there's hope, right? Good attitude. That's a good attitude. Hope can get you through the worst of times. Believe me, I know. When I first escaped, I had no idea what to do with myself. I was so lost, so scared. But I heard rumors of Chase. And what she was doing, that she was bringing people to a safe place. A place just for us. And now here I am. For all it's worth. You're a fool. You're lucky. You're lucky to have found a place in the world. Yeah, I guess. This just wasn't where I thought I'd end up. Any of it. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. Did you need mm -hmm. something? I want to help. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? You're already taking care of it, aren't you? Yeah. There she is. I just need to figure out a way down there. Is that a bed? Oh, it's a dirty bed. You're new here too. There's a huh? clean bed. Can I, I mean, sleep in that? I haven't been here that long. I can auto save in it. <coughs> You're new here too, huh? I mean. I haven't been here that long myself. Honestly, I'd be dead right now if it weren't for Chase. Turns out it's pretty hard to live as a synth in the Commonwealth. Kept it secret. Tough world. Better off here? I'm sorry you suffer. I'm sorry to hear that you suffered. Thanks, but it doesn't matter now. I'm here, and I'm safe. And I'm never leaving. I'll see you around, okay? I like how, uh... Everyone's, uh, you could, most people here, you could talk to them and stuff like that. How the hell do I get down there? This goes down, yeah. Kasumi, go home. Ugh, circuitry is completely fried. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I I'm right in the middle of something. I'm a detective. No, I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... You're what? 
You came all this way... for me? Look, my mom and dad... I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. You're... you're not a synth. Kasumi, listen to me. You're not a synth. Believe me, I've thought about that. How you can never really know. But it just answers so many questions. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> you're just confused. You're not a replacement. Kasumi, I think you're just confused. Everyone has doubts about who they are sometimes. It's part of life. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. <sighs> Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. Oh, what should I do? Problem with Arcadia? It's your choice. You come in with me. Offer help. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. Oh, now you've got me interested. I'm listening. All right, I'm listening. Okay, where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. Whoa. Alvita. I'll help if I can. But that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop. But it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. You know what? I'll, I'll take the honest route and just talk to him. This will be easier if I just talk to Dima. Convince him that he needs to be honest with us. All right. Good luck. Let me know what you find out. I love it, love it all. Where's my charisma? That might help me. How you doing? Talk to Dima. Dima the Diva. So you're that new fellow from the Commonwealth. I sure am, but I don't fancy talking. Yo, Dima. Are you always plugged into that thing? Dima. Dima? Dima. Is there anything I can do? Uh, Kasumi's accusation. Kasumi says she's seen parts of your memories. Death projections. For Far Harbor and the center of the island. That's unfortunate. She should be focusing on herself, her new life. She shouldn't have to bear the burden of the outside world. Please, this is a matter best left to me and my advisors. We aren't planning to destroy the island. Those projections were merely to help us realize the cost of inaction. Sounds like a lot of fancy talk aimed at throwing us off the trail. Must mean we're on to something. Demand answers? I want to help. 
I I would answer. Now, I'm getting sick of this whole noble leader bullshit from you, Dima. Now stop hiding and tell me the truth. All right, you've made your point. There's a conflict that's been brewing on this island shortly after we built Acadia. Between Far Harbor and the Children of Atom. Simply put, they want to kill each other. And each side wants us to help them. We've tried to stay neutral. But Far Harbor was going to be wiped out by the fog. So that's when we built the condensers for them. And I was friends with the previous leader of the Children of Atom, Confessor Martin. I even gave them their headquarters, the submarine base they named the Nucleus. Which was a mistake. Because Martin is gone and the new Confessor, Tectus, is completely insane. He's been threatening us to force us to choose a side. I left behind something very important in that submarine base I gave them. Dima's earliest memories are stored in the military computer banks in that base. The pre-war security systems and Confessor Martin's goodwill were supposed to keep them safe. But now Tectus is in charge, and he's after Dima's memories. We don't even know what's in them. But we do know that I spent nearly a century on this island alone. Whatever's in there is too dangerous to allow Tectus to get his hands on them. Your memories? You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. Far Harbor? You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay in return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock, and a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent, and their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. Okay, the children of Atom sound like proper douchebags. The children of Adam on this island, you were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. What can I do? So what can I do to help? If you're willing to retrieve what I've lost and bring my memories back to me, then we'd all be one step closer to solving this conflict without bloodshed. You'll have to get through the children of Adam's base. You're new on the island, so you might be able to pose as a recruit. Then, once you get to the memory banks, you'll have to use a special program Dima and I have been working on to break through the security systems. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. Uh, all right, uh, I'm on it. I'll get your memories, Dima. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the children of Adam at bay, but that means you'll have to get past them yourself. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. I've got no love for those mindless fanatics in the nucleus. I won't complain if it comes to violence. Hell, I'm hoping it does. Oh, 
Are we sitting comfortably? Alright, I got an exclamation mark. Okay, let's talk back to uh, let's talk to Kasumi again. And uh, I probably need to hire a room in Far Harbor soon, or I'm going to be very sleepy. Kazumi. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. Yeah, Faraday's program. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just... Well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. Don't worry. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. I just got some caps. Okay, what is wrong with me? Hungry and sleepy. What a blow. Oh, that, that does water now. Oh, that's good. I need to find a bed. I think I'm going to go to Far Harbor. Hopefully it's not dark. Ah, oh, I was wrong. Oh, it seems bright here. Not as dark in the Commonwealth. New turn. I'm gonna do these two. Uh, I think we're going to go cross country now. I think I might use a laser weapon for a while. So so far, I'm I'm liking the Far Harbor DLC. It's uh, quite nice. It's interesting, very story based. And uh, I hope there's a synth, uh, a twist, so it might make me seem like a synth. I think that'll be very nice. It adds sort of something more to the main quest, if you think about it. Like, you're not actually the father. Oh, wait. Never mind. Of your baby. Your baby's the father of you. Hello, ghoul. It's time to stop for a drink, yeah? Yeah. Is that everyone? Oh, these are cool. What are these? Little tents. I 
hope no one was in it. <laughs> Right, I think we uh we got everyone. Good. Let's go. I'm uh, looking forward to doing more of the uh, main quest. I reckon that'll be really interesting. It does make sense, like, yeah. Well, for the player, our only. Oh no. Our only earliest memory of. Like, well, the first moment of the game was getting ready. In the. Ugh. So that's that's quite an interesting thought actually, it's like are you a synth? Maybe all these memories are put into your head. But then again it, it doesn't make any sense with the uh the main quest if you think about. It. So yeah, I'm probably Don't let the island catch you off guard. I have my hands full like helping my people. Who? Stimpaks. Fully stopped. Hello? I'll be straight with you. Oh, it's you never mean, easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But mm, I've got a responsibility that, yeah. to these people, and that. I have a job oh, for you wonderful. if you're up for it. I wasn't sure Besides, how I, was I know ever you're tougher than you look. I haven't been able to find any of the local police force. The louts? I don't want to start a panic, but, well, we may have a murder on our hands, and we need an outside set of eyes. Um... Okay. Okay, I'll help. Oh, thank goodness. Shall I guide you to the Cliff's Edge Hotel now? Uh, I'll meet you there. Go ahead. I'll meet you there. Very good. I shall meet you at the main entrance to the hotel. Hmm. I don't have time. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Avery wanted to talk to me, didn't she? Oh no, that's the Marine. You! Captain. I'll be straight with you. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. You want yourself commodities? Happy to help. Happy to help with anything I can. If you say so, we get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the Mirelurks hit us, and I'm, I'm afraid they might have got him, too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. All right, um... Need tools or parts? Am I gonna need any tools or parts if I have to make these repairs on my own? The fog condensers need their power modules replaced, but Howard took the only spares we had. Either way, you're gonna have to find him first. All right. I'll head out. All right, I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer. Whoa. Now that's some firepower there. I know. Fresh shipment. Hey, yo. All your Alan. medical and food huh. needs. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. Just trying to help. I saved your asses. I am the one that saved all your asses. So, yeah. We've defended this damn dock from crabs and worse for months without you. Yeah, you helped. But we've paid our dues in blood and bullets. The day we rely on outsiders for our security is the day we're as good as dead. Show some gratitude, you turnip. I still put myself in harm's way for you. Some gratitude would be nice. We've had some real pieces of work come through here. But you've been... Uh, all right so far. Here, for your uh, help. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. 
before the children of Adam are worse get you. Okay, let's do some bartering. Show me what you got. Make it fast. I'll make it super fast. Oh, I saw fish catcher. Fish catcher. Oh, what a natural bloody far harbor weapon. That that is in unique. Got no harpoons. You got any unique uh no. Now I need to give some ammo to uh Duda what's he we called it. I need some more fusion cores actually. No more. I'm over in cupboard. Need help. Uh, I'm going to give you. Oh, this is ammo waste of yet. There you go. You're naked. Um, I was hoping it wouldn't do that. Make it quick, will you? Do you part your, your loved ones with my Look alive. What's the plan? Whoa, you are doing some weird stuff. Uh, your, thoughts? your thoughts? Just once, let me find a pair of socks that don't have holes in them. <laughs> that was all I had. Right there. <whistles> hmm? Don't whistle at him. Can you use your actual... Your actual weapon... Oh. If you hey. got caps, I got goods. I need to talk to you about our missing synth. Yeah? Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. So you can either buy something or move along. Uh... I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L-792. Okay, I believe you. Keep it down, all right? It's real private information. I don't know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Thing is, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless, looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. I tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. Ah, uh, what an idiot. Uh, no need, wo no need to worry. I will find him. Relax. I'll take care of this. Sorry, my nerves are a little shot right now. Look, if you're really going after that synth, I'm pretty sure you took the road south out of town. Maybe you could head that way. Just be careful out there. And thanks. There aren't many who'd go out in the fog to help a synth, especially one they don't even know. I feel like shit about what happened. I really do. I hope you can make it right. I'll try to. Ah, I'm over a good bit again. Food hey. front? What? Ah, oh, that means something's going on. I need to go sleep like a week ago. But dock and back. The bait shop. Mainlander, today's your lucky day. Free beer for ya. Ha <laughs> ha. Oop, man. Really? Oh, thanks. thanks for the free drink. Look at you with a uh -huh. Joel, drink up. You stay here over long and the fog will claim you. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? Uh, I need a room. I'd like to rent a room. It's up the stairs. We're the only bar in town. It's up the stairs. A bed! But it's dirty, I hope it doesn't... Why... What? Why can't I sleep? Oh, that's because I'm in power armor. 
So I could probably sleep at... Oh, what did I do? Hopefully the dirty mattress doesn't mean I can't sleep for much long. I, for one, won't go down unless I'm roaring drunk. <laughs> Better hope you don't get stuck in that thing. I know, it's terrible to pee in. What's... What is my illness? I'm just gonna take Kobayas to her. Come on, I need to drink one more bevy. There we go. Alright, I think we're gonna call it an episode here. Ooh. So, uh, this has been Metal Monster in Far Harbor. And that's a cat, wherever it was. Did I tread on it? I probably tread on it. Tread on it. So yes, uh, thank you for watching, like and subscribe. Uh, worries and cheap booze. <laughs> I... I think Dick likes you. Here, kitty. <sighs> Alright, thank you for watching. <laughs> uh, see you next time, right? Goodbye.